Hi guys! Alright, so first can I say, um, when I was sitting down to make this video, I was like, gosh, you know, I was sitting on the computer, and I now understand why the Olympics are only four, or every four years, because if they were on every year, um, America's productivity level would just plummet, because <laughs> I've seriously spent every night since they've been on sitting in front of the TV from 8 to midnight like a zombie, and I like go on the on demand or go on the DVR when I fall asleep at like 11.30 because I always miss the end of it. So yeah, um, so I've been like crazy gymnastics obsessed this week, um, but I'm still going to sit down and make my July favorites video because it is August 1st. So I did a, try out a couple products this month uh, that I thought I'd share with you. Um, where to start, where to start, where to start. Um, okay, I guess I'll start with hair. Um, I showed this in my favorite hair care products routine. Well, favorite hair care products, rather. Uh, this is Big Sexy Hair, and this is the Spray and Stay formula, the one that says all-nighter on the side. I absolutely love this hairspray. I don't want to shake it up too much as I'm shaking it. Um, but favorite hairspray of all time. It gives me the hold that I want. And I can actually, like, if I decide to do, like, the bang thing with it, I can, you know, do that. I can give it some volume in the back. I love it. It's great. Um, as far as makeup remover goes, um, I've been trying out the Simple brand uh, facial cleansing wipes. And I do actually like these a lot. Um, before, I never really had a problem with makeup wipes. Like, I've used the Neutrogena ones. I've used ones from Sephora. Um... None of them have really ever broken my skin out or made it feel really, like, harsh or dry or anything like that. Just, I've noticed that the simple ones don't do any of that, like, to an extent because they're made for people with sensitive skin. So, I bought a pack of these. Uh, this is a brand new pack that I haven't opened yet because I still have another pack in the bathroom. Um, but these are awesome if you've never tried these before. You can get them at Target, I believe. And yeah, that's where I've got mine. They have a really good facial scrub too that I really like. Um, but these are really great if you have sensitive skin. I would recommend that. Um, another thing. Yeah, I'm trying to do all the non-makeup stuff first. Just kind of get it out of the way. I found a new top coat that I absolutely love. Um, this is the Essie's Good To Go top coat. And this is comparable to uh, either Seshvi or the China Glaze Fast Dry Top Coat or something like that. Um, literally, you put this on any nail polish and your polish is dry within like 30 seconds to a minute. It is amazing. Um, now, obviously, if you put your polish on thick, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry, but this is really great. I love it. You can get this at Target as well. It's like 750 I think, which is a little expensive for a top coat, especially this little. But, I mean, it is worth it. And especially because you can get it at Target. It's so readily, like, readily available. So, definitely big, big recommendation for the SC Top Coat. On to makeup. Um, I'll do face first. Yeah, why not? Um, I showed these in my makeup haul. Um, however long ago that was. Uh, but these are the three of the mineralized skin finishes that I got from the Heavenly Creature collection. Um, this one is Earthshine, this one is Center of the Universe, and then this one is Star Wonder. Um, I have been loving these. Um, I have Center of the Universe on as a blush right now. Uh, but I've been using Earthshine as kind of like a bronzer. Um, if I'm not really looking for like super bronze, like if I just kind of need a little bit. I've been liking this a lot because um, it's that perfect bronzy color. And then this is just kind of a gorgeous corally orange color. And this is kind of a pinky mauve color. So I've been liking those. I have to hurry up because my camera battery is dying. Um, the other blushes that I've been loving, I swear there's not going to be one single favorites video that doesn't have one of the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes in it. Uh, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in a Shiot, and it is just gorgeous, and I still don't know if I'm saying that wrong. The girls at Sephora couldn't help me, so whatever. I'm going to say it like that. Um, but again, if you don't know what the 
Tarte Amazonian clay blushes are about. Um, they don't, uh, they're 12 hour long wearing blushes and they don't oxidize throughout the day like some blushes can. Uh, so these are really awesome. I love these a lot. I have like four or five colors of those. I don't know. Um, the blush that I finally broke down and bought is the NARS Orgasm, which I've really been loving. Um, I keep this in my drawer and I use it a lot. Uh, but it's gorgeous on me, and I didn't expect it to be because when I opened it, I'm like, Ooh, that's what it looks like? I don't know. And then I put it on, and it's really, really gorgeous, and I like it. So, a little expensive, though. It's $28 for a blush, and it's kind of little, but it's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> Alrighty, on to eyeshadow. And I feel like I have so much to talk about. My camera's dying. Um... I was going to do a review on this for my blog, but it kind of got away from me. I took pictures of it, though, on Swatch, so maybe I'll put those up. Um, this is the Urban Decay Feminine Palette, and this is actually one of those things that's on sale right now on their website for, like, $16, I believe, because they're discontinuing it. It was a limited edition thing. You can see it's pretty compact, pretty small, and it has the magnetic clothes like the Naked Palette does. Um, and this comes with six eyeshadows. It comes with Stray Dog, SWF, Midnight Cowboy, yeah, Midnight Cowboy, um, Aquarius, Dark Horse, and then Ecstasy. So these are really pretty, especially for 16 bucks for Urban for six Urban Decay shadows when one is gonna cost you like 18. That's a pretty good deal. Plus you get the like the travel size of the zero eyeliner. So you could still, you know, you can have your dark brown crease colors, you can have your two lid colors, and then there's also two colors as well. So pretty good deal, I think. Um, like I said, it's on their website in the sale section. Um, if you're interested in seeing anything like from this, um, go ahead and let me know. My only thing is I don't want to do a look on it and be like, oh, it's great, when it's being discontinued and I don't know how long it's going to be on their website for. So if you're interested, go on the website and get it before it's gone. Um, the colors are really pretty. Go and look at the website for yourself. Um, I'll put the link below to the Urban Decay site just so you can kind of check it out. Um, the other thing for eyeshadow is the NARS Duo in Madrag, and it has two just kind of medium brown shades, and I really like these shadows. This is what I brought on our uh, Williamsburg trip, and this is pretty much all I wore for shadow, and I loved it. I brought that in like, like a single MAC eyeshadow in espresso, and that's pretty much all I brought, and I was set. I mean, we were riding roller coasters and stuff, so I didn't really need a whole lot. So I just brought this and I was set. So if you pretty much just wear like these colors or these brown colors, these duos are really great and they don't take up a whole lot of space in a makeup bag. And you have two little eyeshadows in there. So good deal. It's only thir it's $34 though, which is kind of a bummer. Like I said, NARS stuff is, is pretty expensive, but you get what you pay for without a doubt. Um, another thing for eyeshadow is the L'Oreal, and I wasn't really expecting to like these, um, but I really, really did. Um, these are the L'Oreal Infallible, like the L'Oreal Palace Paris Infallible Eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Um, they have some of the greatest pigmentation that I have seen from a drugstore eyeshadow in a very long time. Um, comes in like a little jar like this and you take the little thing out but you don't uh, you don't throw this away you keep this and then you have the shadow and granted mine have been swatched and used and everything like that but these are like a really they're I feel like every single time I open one I have to be super delicate with it because that's how soft the shadow is they're so smooth, so silky, like they go on like butter. It's awesome. Um, you can also use these wet, which I've never seen with like a pressed eyeshadow, especially a drugstore one. Like sometimes if you use an eyeshadow wet, it'll kind of get like a crusty, hard spot and it's just not very pretty. Uh, but these you can use wet 
and they're just awesome. I have like seven colors of them. Like I have Golden Sage, I have Midnight Blue, Iced Latte, Smoldering Plum, Liquid Diamond, Endless Sea, and then Eternal Black. So these are awesome. If you have not checked them out yet, why haven't you? Go to your Walmart right now. Have you gone yet? Okay. Um, it, they are amazing. Um, that's really all I can say. And they're like seven bucks too. So for awesome, awesome eyeshadows, believe me, it's totally worth it. And they have seriously like every single color you could ever want. Like they have a pink that's comparable to, um, I know it's comparable to uh, I just have another, I, I just had another idea for a quick dupe. Um, they have a pink that's very comparable to Urban Decay's Woodstock. It's that kind of a pink. So, might have a quick dupe coming up soon. I don't know. I don't have that color yet, but we'll see. Um, no promises, though. Um, so, I finally broke down and bought the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Perversion. And I'm so glad I did. It is the, like the creamiest, thickest, blackest, stay all day type eyeliner possible. And you can see it's just, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like the way that it applies to your eyelids, it reminds me of Max Fluid Line. That's how thick and creamy it is. Um, granted, because the Urban Decay pencils are so thick and creamy, I honestly recommend having like a little brush, like a little angle brush like this handy to smudge them out in case you make any little mistakes. Because a little of this goes a very long way. Like you can make just a tiny little mark and you've done half your eyelid. Like it's it's some serious stuff. So for 19 bucks for like the best black eyeliner, pencil liner in the entire world. Think about it. Um, great. Great, great, great. Um, and then, moving on to mascara. Um, this one you guys are probably expecting. This is the Maybelline New York, the Mega Plush Volume Express Lash. I've been using a, this a lot in tutorials. I used it two times. Like, I used it in both of the tutorials that I did. Uh, but it has a big brush like that, and it seriously, I mean, the title is Mega Plush, and it seriously makes your lashes, like, fat. It's awesome. Um, I really like drugstore mascaras. I don't know why. Um, mainly because of the price, probably. Uh, which brings me to the next one that I really like, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition Mascara. And the reason why I like this, and you can see the wand, it's very different um, than the other one. This is just kind of a straight kind of brush. Uh, but the reason I like this, this is supposedly a really good drugstore dupe for the Armani Eyes to Kill mascara, which is used a lot by uh, X Barkage, Makeup by Tiffany D, uh, girls like that. And they love that mascara and they swear by it. The only thing is that mascara is $30. Now, I can justify spending $30 for a foundation, for like an eyeshadow quad, like an eyeshadow duo, an eyeshadow quad, anything like that that I know I'm getting my money's worth. Um, I'm not going to pay $30 for a mascara. I'm not. Because essentially mascaras, they all do the same thing. They coat your lashes and they either make them fat, defined, lengthened, and black. That's they, they, when, when you look at it as a whole, they all essentially do the same thing. So I'm not going to pay $30 for something that I can get for like seven. Make sense? I don't know. Um, and I know people are going to be like, well, why, why pay money for this if you're not going to pay money for that? But I mean, it makes sense in my mind. Um, I don't think my husband would let me justify spending $30 on a mascara. I just, I don't, even if I were to go over and over and over in my head, I couldn't justify it and my husband couldn't justify it. So, I don't know. Um, seven bucks, I can handle. And as I drop it, drop, gone, on the floor. Um, but both of these are like seven dollars and they're awesome. 
So, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I got my hair done. You couldn't really see it in the travel vlog video, which by the way, if you haven't watched those, I'm going to link below. They're hilarious. They're funny. Um, my husband and I went away for our anniversary, so I vlogged all the chaos and the fun. Um, yeah. The red is really faded, though, in this, but, I mean, red fades, so that's whatever. But, yeah, uh, that's really, I guess, all I could talk about, because these are my July favorites. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know, guys. Um, keep watching for more videos, comment, subscribe. Uh, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.